So I feel like my ring light is doing, is going to die, but I just left from Walmart, get some new toys just to make a video for y'all on how I do my makeup in a strip club. So I'm trying to get them together so I can do it real cool, like like this, like like this. Bam. Yes, yes, yes. So y'all can see a full little video on how I do my makeup when I go to the strip club. Today didn't start off how I wanted it to start off, but I'm trying to put that energy in the air to make it get better. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta be happy for yourself if ain't nobody else happy for you. So let's jump into this video and let's do some makeup. Like, what bad bitch in the strip club don't need no makeup? <laughs> I'm that bad bitch and I need my makeup. Period. So before my ring light die, what I want to do and get out the way is my eyebrows. So these are the two, three things that I got for my eyebrows that I really fucking needed. I have an eyebrow archer, but it's really dull. Like I think I done had that same eyebrow archer for like the last year since I've been dancing and it don't work no more. So I got these three right here, these three little eyebrow archers. And I also got me some tweezers because my eyebrow archers don't always get it how I wanted to get it. And then I got me some, um, a spoolie and I also got me some little scissors to cut the top of it because when they uneven, it bothers me. And then I got this. This is not for my eyebrows, but I was so excited to find this in Walmart. My hands are ashy and no, I don't got my ring on. Don't shave me in my comments. It's in my room. I literally just walked in the house and took it off because I was putting on lotion, but whatever. So I got this. I know y'all all know what this is. I got really, like I got a big ass nose, first of all. Second of all, like I got a lot of little, like little, what those called? Are these? No, I don't think these are pores. I don't know. Whatever it is, the big part, these little bumps on my nose, like I got a lot of them. Like I got a lot of little bumps on my nose. My eyes are really fucking black. That's okay because I'm going to start doing my makeup. I'm going to start doing my makeup. Like I'm going to try to get like a consistency with my makeup. You know how girls wake up every morning and do their makeup? Like I don't go nowhere every day to do that. But on days that I do go somewhere, I'm going to just start doing my makeup. Period. Because who don't want to be a bad bitch? Who don't want to feel their best all the time? Who don't? I'm sorry. I'm trying. I'm checking my stats on my YouTube channel. I have a habit of doing that every morning. Oh, look at this. We are halfway to get monetized. My lips are crusty, so I can't. We halfway to our beach. Period. Okay, so I'm gonna use the pink one first because it's cute. Okay, so my eyebrows are going to be touched up and I really need to go get that mirror from, no, you know what, I have a mirror in here. In my makeup box, oh wait. This my makeup box with everything in it. This is the box that I take to the strip club because when you go to the strip club, you don't want to bring, like, I know some girls bring their whole suitcase, but, like, beginning, you don't want to bring a whole suitcase because, well, I don't know, because I was bringing a duffel bag when I first started, but, like, beginning, it's like, you don't know what all you're going to need, so you might want to bring a whole suitcase. Um, Hopefully, this get my eyebrows like I wanted to. Um, And then your makeup bag or box or however you want to tote around your makeup. Whatever you do, just make sure you bring your makeup. Make sure you bring your makeup to work every day. You gonna need your makeup because either some girls like to change their makeup look at work, um, or if you don't, if you're not that type of girl that change your makeup look at work, then you gonna have to like touch your face up. Like you sweat so much in the club, it be hot. You be dancing, you're going to sweat. Like like you're going to sweat. It's like no way around it like you're going to sweat like i'm so stuffy like i have you around sinuses if y'all have not already picked it up i'm always stuffy in my videos but um i'm arching my eyebrows now when i when my eyebrows are arched i get a better feel for them like when i'm um filling them in like it makes me feel so much better when they're arched because 
I don't be knowing what line of her to follow. I don't be knowing what line of her to follow to arch them so my eyebrows be like all type of crazy looking. Like I know people say not to arch the under like the under part of your eyebrow, but I'm not finna pluck that many goddamn hairs out my goddamn face. That shit hurt. Like it hurt, but it is it's 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 good to do, but it hurt. And I ain't the type of bitch that like pain like that. I mean, yeah, I got a lot of tattoos, but plucking her out your goddamn face, that's a whole other type of pain. I'm so happy I'm not one of them girls that grow them thick ass mustaches. I'm so happy I'm not the type of girl that grow them thick ass mustaches. Because, baby, I'll be in somebody's wax chair every other day. Y'all see that apparel? Oh, y'all see that? Yes. Lordy. And I'm back, so I didn't do nothing extra. My eyebrow is still same. I literally just arched it. This eyebrow looks so much different from this one. So I'm opening the tweezers. I'm trying to see if I want to do one eyebrow at a time. It don't even matter. They both getting done. I'm going to just pluck it. I'm going to pluck it. And it hurts so bad, y'all. Like, I hate this part. Y'all probably can't even see what I'm plucking, but I see it. Ooh, that one hurt. The first one didn't hurt. The second one did. My little mirror is right here. This is what I'm looking at down here. I'm looking through my mirror. So I hope y'all can see me. I'm trying to stay in the camera. But it's not working. I think that's it. That's all of it. I've been trying to have, like, not too many to pluck, but. Yeah, that's about all of them. I ain't finna get all of these down here because. Like these, like these little bitty ones. Can y'all see that? Like. It's just focus, like right there. Like where I arched it at. Like it's like little bitty hairs. And I really want to pluck them out, but the shit hurt. Let's see if I can get it. No, that shit too little. I'm not even finna hurt myself like that, trying to get that little ass shit. Okay, on to the next eyebrow. Okay, so y'all see this one? This is where we started. This eyebrow is so weird. I think it's because, okay, y'all know when... Eyebrow arching just came out. Everybody had them little thin ass. All our mamas had them little thin ass eyebrows. Our mamas and our aunties had them little bitty ass eyebrows. That's where this scar came from. Like, it's a scar, like, right here. I caught myself trying to pluck my own fucking eyebrows. I mean, trying to arch my own eyebrows. Cut myself. It was blood everywhere. That was my first um, trauma. First trauma in my life. When I fucking cut my fucking face open. Trying to do my eyebrows. Trying to be like my mom. Trying to be grown. They finna go out. They was finna go to some club. And me and my auntie was at the house. My auntie was too young to go out at the, at the time. We was at my mama's house. And I'm in the bathroom trying to arch my goddamn eyebrows. Anyways, that's a story for another time. Um, But yeah. So when you do your eyebrows, it makes it so much easier. When they actually arch. Okay, that's the problem right there. So this, like this part of my eyebrow, like where my arch start and where my eyebrow begin is longer on this side than it is on this side. Like it's hella little on this side. So it bothers me so fucking much. Like, it bothers me so much. Let's see if we can try to make it even. Push my arch back so. I don't think that's possible, but we're going to see what we can do. There's a little-ass eyebrow.
But this eyebrow is so fucking stupid. I could never get this eyebrow right. If anybody have any tips or tricks on how to arch your eyebrows. I mean, I know they say eyebrows are sisters, not twins or something like that. But this shit, this some bullshit. So if y'all got any ideas on how, I knew my ring light was gonna die. Let's see, well, it's daytime. No, I still need some light. And I don't think this is gonna work. I just had it on a goddamn charger. Whatever. Y'all can still see me. Thankfully, it's daytime. You know what? Let me get my other ring light. I broke it, but I can set it up on my computer to where it's still shut. So give me a second. Okay, I'm back. This ring light makes me look a little better anyways. That one is brighter. Wait, this one can get brighter. Wait, it's bigger though, so I'm gonna just leave it like this. I'm gonna fucking turn around and brighten it up and blind myself. Okay, so we're working on the broke eyebrow. But like I was saying, if y'all have like any, any, um, Tips or tricks on how to like, look at these. These are completely different eyebrows. Yeah, I see that. Oh God. I feel like that point on that eyebrow was just longer. So I just cut it off like a dumbass. They kinda, kinda giving me sister vibes a little bit, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so next we're going to tweeze this one. I don't see any that need to be tweezed. <laughs> I'm gonna take this one out because this is like my little wild hair and it always grows like this. I always have this one. Ooh. And I'm scared. I don't know. I don't think I can get these little bitty ones. Oh, wait, I can. But who put a butt with these eyebrows like that? This is enough. Okay, so my eyebrows are plucked. I mean, yeah, they're arched and plucked. Um, so we can put that up. And then we're gonna take our spoolie and our scissors. So the way that this works is, you wanna take your spoolie, brush your eyebrows up as if you were about to put makeup on them. Ooh, that eyebrow look good. Okay, and I don't really see too many uneven ones, but what I what you can do, like if they just look so perfect, like you can still do this and you can see it. I don't know if you're supposed to do this or not, but I'm gonna do it anyways. I feel like I'm fucking something up. Oh wait, maybe not. Okay. <sighs> oh, 
Okay, so we got a new little technique. Bitch, tell me that eyebrow don't look good. Besides this little part right here that looked like I think I might have cut it, but whatever. Um, it looked good to me. Period. Okay, but like I was saying, don't forget, like, when you go to auditions, you want to make sure, like, your makeup is done, like, because you never know. They might tell you that you can stay that day, and you don't want to miss out on no money. Like, even though, even if it's your first day there, like, you don't want to miss out on no money, like. Being a stripper is like a regular job, I want to say, because people be like, oh, she's a stripper. Oh, she don't she don't have no respect for herself and all this other shit. Well, whole time, bitch, we be having the utmost, most of us be having the utmost respect for ourselves, like holding ourselves up. Like, you want to look good inside and outside the club. Like, when I, what I mean by that is, like, you want to look good inside and outside the club. Like... Some, like I say, some girls do they make up every time they walk out the goddamn door. That's their preference. Like, if that's what they want to do, if that's how they feel like they make their money, then let them do that. If that's how they feel like they're confident, you want to be confident. First off, ouch. You want to be confident everywhere you go. Like, you never know. You might meet your best customer in fucking Walmart or something. Like, just because you got your makeup and stuff done, like, it's guys out here that actually like be excited to meet girls in walmart like or like any grocery store like it be people out here looking for female friends and if you work in a strip club that's a bonus like you get to meet me and you get to come to my job and spend money with me so like that's a bonus for you and him because he might not have that attention at home and you just gave him that. You just gave him a reason to want to come to the strip club and spend money. <laughs> he seen how good you looked in the in the fucking Walmart. And imagine he you like, oh yeah, I work in the strip club. Such 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 such. Oh, you're a dancer. Oh, he's definitely finna come see you. He's definitely about to come see you. So like I said, you wanna look your best inside and outside the club. Okay, I think my eyebrows and stuff are just about done. I'm so excited to use this, but I feel like when I use this, I'm gonna have to like steam my face. I feel like, but I know I get like a lot of little blackheads on my chin, like my chin area. Like earlier this morning, I had one like right here. And like I have like, Y'all see that? Like a lot of little bumps. And I feel like I need to like, I say like a lot. I feel like I need to, I don't know, I'm gonna have to play with this some more because I really wanna use it. And I know for a fact, I can get some results from this on my nose. But I don't really get bumps like that, but still. I'm gonna use that, watch. Okay, so let's get into this makeup part. Because that's what we all waiting for. So beginner friendly makeup for the strip club for girls that don't know how to really do their makeup. Um, this is the video for you, sis. So you always want to start with your eyebrows. You could get this brush at Walmart for like a dollar. The same brush for like a dollar. It has an angle um brush on it and a spoon. And I don't use nothing too expensive. Like, this right here is Anastasia. Like, the only two things that I use expensive that, well, that I got from Sephora, which is an expensive makeup store, um, is my eyebrow dip and my Anastasia foundation. I only get my foundation from there simply because um, in Walmart, I don't like doing trial and error. Like, 
Walmart, you're going to have to get like four different shades because you're not going to be up at Walmart and putting people makeup on your face like, oh, this not my color. You're going to be looking crazy. Like, no. So what I do is I go to Sephora. I actually invest that money into myself. Being a stripper, you're going to have to invest some type of money into yourself. Like, regardless if it's makeup, regardless if it's... Yeah, you're going to have to invest that. Makeup, hair, nails, like... It's all an investment. Like, you're investing in yourself to make more money. That's basically what you're doing. That's basically your job, to invest in yourself to make more money. Some girls feel like they need to invest in their body, so they go get their asses done. Or their titties. Wait, I can't talk and do this. Or they titties or whatever, like it's like the ass, the titties, and stomach. It be like straight girls that gain weight in a strip club. Like you're going to gain weight, weight being a stripper because you're gonna be eating all the time. Like you're dancing and you're hungry. You're drinking all day long, so you're gonna be hungry. You're gonna gain an appetite being a stripper. Like you're going to eat. Um. So like me, if you're like me, when I first started dancing, I was so skinny. Like, I was so skinny. I'm gonna put a before and after picture. Like, I was so skinny. And when I started dancing, I act, that's when I started doing like eating. I mean, what is this stuff called? A pediment? A pediment? I started do, taking that shit. But it used to make me so sleepy. Like I used to take it, and it, like I had to put a schedule on it. Like. I had to literally only take the shit at nighttime. They say you're supposed to take it like twice a day or some shit like that. But I only could take it like at nighttime when I'm coming home from the strip club. But even then, it made me so tired. Like my first couple days, I was so sleepy. Like I didn't even want to go to the strip club. Like I literally took like a week off to do this epitomous shit. Like, and I was not ready for that type of sleep. Like, okay, I understand it's going to put me to sleep. Okay, no, this shit puts you to sleep. Like... Like, when you take a Benadryl, it's like that type of sleep. Like, a Benadryl type of sleep. Like, that shit, it got something in that shit that, that just knocks your ass out. Like, I'm talking like, within 15 minutes of drinking this shit, you down. Like, you could be in a car, you're going to go to sleep. Like, like don't take that shit when you got something to do. Don't take that shit if you got to go to work that day. Like, don't, don't take that shit if you got something to do, basically. But that's one way to gain weight. Um, the epitomate. It's like a really good thing. Well, way to gain weight. Yeah, it's a really... Uh, like, and it's fast. It's fat. Like, really effective. Um, you can find it. Some people... I know when I found it, the girl was selling it for like $25 a bottle. Uh, which they sell it the same way. Like if you go to like an African store, if somebody trying to charge you more than twenty five dollars, don't buy it. Cause you could go to an African store. Well, I don't know if that's just like in my city, but I actually went to like an African, not a African braid, but like where they clothes and stuff at, like where like that like little grocery stores. They actually have it for sale in their grocery stores. Like. 
where I'm from um, in St. Louis, they have like this place on the south side, this little African store on the south side that I go to and get my pee from like when a girl don't have it because she sell it for the same price. Like I go there and get a bottle. Well, I don't do it anymore, but when I was doing it, yes, my eyebrows are thick as fuck, but they not gonna stay like that. <laughs> I'm gonna use my foundation to fix them up. So now that we got both eyebrows on, I said both eyebrows on like I just took them out the bag or something. <laughs> we gonna conceal. This is why I say it don't matter if this, this eyebrow is sticking in this eyebrow. Because you gonna conceal it out anyways. When this part right here is the part that you really want to take your time on because, I mean, you could do like your little makeup part, the little dip part, as, and like however the fuck you want to do it. But this part, you really got to take your time on because this going to be the shape of your eyebrows. Y'all see that? Y'all see that out of here? Y'all gonna look good. That bitch sharp at the end. Sharp. Now it's all about getting this one right. This the one that just don't act right. We gonna call this bitch can't get right.
Okay, that's all I'm doing. I ain't even gonna bother it no more. <laughs> all right, so now we got the eyebrows down packed. The hard part is over. That's the hard part. So just make sure y'all take y'all time on that part. Um, it's about all the pointers I can give you on that because that is truly the hard part. Due to the fact that I don't really wear, um, what's it called? Eyeshadow shit. I like. You can really do your makeup and whatever. Whatever, um, order you want to do it in. Like, people be making it seem like you got to do it in a certain order. Like, you got to do your eyes first and all this other shit. Like, okay, yeah, okay, yeah, your eyebrows, but as far as your eyes, I feel like they just do their eyes first because they already in that area. So, they just go ahead and do it. But I look crazy to you. But... It's all going to be blended in anyway, so. Mm. Don't even matter who go first. That's just how I feel, though. So that was concealer. I put that on all my dark spots. Cause my makeup is actually my winter color. Due to the fact that it's winter, I'm extra bright. I'm brighter than what I am in the summer, but that's what everybody I think I would say. Sometimes I cover up my tattoos, sometimes I don't, like. Depending on like a Saturday, Friday night, it depends, like, if I'm tipsy, I feel like, if it, I feel like when I'm tipsy, I don't care about my tattoo, like, but when I'm not tipsy, I just show it off anyway, it's just because. But that's just me, if y'all got face tattoos, I don't have to cover them up. Depending on what type of club y'all in, like, the type of club that I was in when I was in Atlanta, they didn't care about face tattoos. But if I was to go work at a club in my city right now due to the pandemic, there's only a certain, there's only a certain selection of clubs open. And they wouldn't want me to have a face tattoo because it's ghetto. But that's why I don't go to those type of clubs because when I work, I want to feel comfortable. Like, I don't want to feel like I'm being ghetto or out of place because everybody else up here don't express themselves the way I do. It is something in my eye. And when you do this, like, y'all see I look like a mustard color? When you do this, make sure you get your neck. Because, sis, you don't want to be two different tones up in the club looking crazy as hell. You hella bright on your face, but dark as hell on your neck. Don't do that. Some people do their ears, too, but due to the fact that I don't like my ears touched, I don't really put makeup on my ears. Like, literally, the only time that I touch my ears is, like, when I'm cleaning them. And nine times out of ten, they're covered up anyways.
I look crazy. I look gold as hell. But that's okay. That's where um, the other stuff come in at. Like, yeah, um, contour. What is it called? It's a contour palette that I have. This one right here. I got this from Walmart. That's where your contour and your sculpting come in. Probably saying that shit wrong, but you want to make sure that you dab all this shit out where it don't look shiny no more. I mean, you're not going to be able to get the complete shine out of it, but get enough of the shine out of it. And then, what you're going to do right here is, you're going to get your setting powder out. I got this from Walmart. It's Maybelline. Like, all this stuff that I'm using, I got it from Walmart besides my, um, foundation and my eyebrow stuff like my little elf brush this actually came in a pack i think i might have paid like five dollars for like eight brushes something like that i just forgot where this go this takes some of the shine out of your makeup like like I look shiny on one side and then on the other side it's like a matte finish. That's what this is for. You bake. You bake, 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 bake. Some people like to use more of this shit. Some people use a little bit of this shit. Some people don't even use it at all. So it's all to your liking, I guess. And then the fact that I got on black, well, it ain't getting on me. Like I said, anything that you do in the strip club, like your makeup, all that stuff is all depending on how you want to do it. You are your own boss. That's the best feeling about it. You are your own boss. Like, as long as you got them people tip out, they don't really even give a fuck about what you're doing. Well, to a certain extent. Like, don't go in there and just do whatever. I'm sorry, I'm at home by myself and my house just made a weird noise and I don't like that. While this is baking, while you are baking, baking. And then the good thing about this palette is that it tells you where everything goes. It's perfect. So the point of this palette is to bring the color back in your face. That's why I said it don't matter if you put your foundation on and you look real funny. Cause it's like no type of setting in your face, no nothing. Cause you got this palette right here. This brings all your tones back out.
I look shiny. And then this is the sculpt. Did you just put it right up under? This is not highlighter. This is the, the more of a... I don't even know what to call it. I'm talking like I know makeup and I fucking don't. I just know that this instructions is giving me, I'm just following them. Okay, so don't listen to me. I'm just following the instructions. Awesome. This is the scope. I don't even know what the fuck scoping is. But that's what they told me to put it. So I did it. Just make sure you blend it all in good. You don't want to be walking around all types of colors. And then you're going to take your fluffy brush and dust all of that away. Now look, you're not so shiny no more. I'm trying to slowly put stuff back as I leave it. And then you're gonna take your highlighter. I got this palette from Walmart. Yeah, I can't even see what say. There we go. It's a 3D highlighter palette. My favorite one is Paradise because it's like a gold looking. But like on my birthday, I believe I had first class on. Because I like it. I like the way you see it. I like the way you see it first class. You don't need too much highlighter. You don't want to walk around that looking shiny as hell. Just put a little bit on there and just rub it. All in, like that. A little, like literally, a little bit, like a little bit on her. I even dab it off sometimes because sometimes I'll be having too much. I was in a club one day. This boy was like, "Why are you so shiny?" I thought it was something on your face. I'm like, "Oh, that's my highlighter." I went to the back, took this shit off. I took all my makeup off. I'm like, I gotta do this shit again because I can't just wipe my cheeks dry. Of course, I waited on him to leave so I can get my motherfucking money, but I'm like, oh, no. Okay. So, let me put highlight on their chin right here, and then, like, some people put it right there to make them shine a little bit, but, um, that's up to you if you want to do all that. Now. Now is the fun part. The lashes. And the lips. I'm gonna do the lashes first because my lip gloss is not in my section. Neither is my lash glue, so I'm gonna just get up. <laughs> but I just bought this from Walmart. It's a Maybelline um, lip liner. And then these lashes right here are my brand. I'm going to go get my lip gloss and I'm going to go get my lash glue. Okay, now I got all the good stuff. So I'm going to do the lashes first. Because 
why not? I'm the type of person that don't like my lashes to like be like some girl like they lashes to be like all the way up here and all the way back there. Like I don't like that. Like I dead ass will cut. I will cut my lashes. Like don't do that. On a serious note. I hate feeling my lashes. I hate feeling my lashes touch my nose. Like that bothers me. Like I don't mind looking up and feeling them on my forehead, but I don't want them bitches to touch my nose. I hate, that's another thing. I hate my nose and my ears being touched. Okay, now that we got our lashes cut, so my best friend put me on, she actually is a makeup artist and she put me on to using ghost bond on my lashes. At first, when we first did it, I'm like, no, I don't want to do that because ghost bond gets so sticky and ugh. Bitch, I must have did it on my birthday. Bitch, stop playing with me. Ghost bond is for my lashes. Like, and I think because I was scared doing it, I had put two less on there and it didn't stick. I'm like, yeah, fuck it. Give me the regular glue. Like the regular, um, uh, I normally use, I used to use the, um, the regular black glue, like for quick weaves. But after she told me that, and then it don't snatch out my lashes either due to the fact that it's so sticky, it just come right off. Like it stay on as long as I need it to stay on and it just come right off when I need it to come off. I said, look at you, bitch. So I put about that much on her. I also put it like a little bit on the top. That's like a little booger. This glue. This this glue. <laughs> I put a little bit on the top so it can stick to my upper lash. I set it down so it can dry. Some because you don't want to put it on her super wet. Just like doing your wig. You don't want to put your wig down when the glue is super wet. So... I let it dry and I go to the next lash and by the time I'm done prepping this lash that lash should be dry enough to for application And then due to the fact that I have on nails, I'm gonna use my mirror and my tweezers. See, this is the only time that I can use tweezers to put my lashes on because I can't hold them like I wanna hold them. So you just grab them like this with your tweezers. Like that. This girl, let's see if her method work. She said, let's see if her method work. Again, I seen this on TikTok. Everything that I had tried from TikTok has fucked me up in the long run. So I'm gonna try something else. Cause I'm hard headed. She said, well, I got on makeup. But she was like, just pull your eye and just put it on her like that. Oh shit, bitch, she might be on or something.
And then y'all see that how just go on her so easily. <laughs> and then I pinch it so it can bond with the lashes up under it. Okay. That's not good. <laughs> but basically, you get the idea. And if I'm not mistaken, this was the problem that I had the first time that I did this. And I was like, uh, oh, fuck that. Fuck them lashes. And then boom. Even though this lash is on kind of weird, but it's on there. Yeah. It's on kind of weird, but it's on there. Okay, now let me get this lash before it dry. Okay, now let me get this lash before it dry. I look so crazy trying to put these damn lashes on. I just poked myself in goddamn eye. It was touching me. It was touching my nose, and I don't like that. And then some people do they little underline thingy, but I don't like that. So I'm just move on to my lips. So the way I do my lips, I do an outline on them. People, it's like it's a booger right there. People overdo them. If you have small lips and you wanna overdo your lips, by all fucking means, sis, okay? Whatever makes you feel better. But me, I just outline my regular lips cause I feel like I look weird if I overdid them. I just outline my regular lips and I'm gonna show y'all. This shit look red.
Y'all see that? Let me see. These are my marker lips. And then the bottom one, do the same thing. And then when it comes to like the corner, I always start where I end it, like where I ended it up here so I can make my lips look fuller. Like I start at the bottom of my top lip, like right there, and then like take it. Sometimes I feel in this crease to like make it, I was biting my lip earlier, that's why the extra piece of skin right there, but fuck it. So. There. Not too much, just like a little bit. Yeah. You don't want to be walking around looking like your auntie in fucking the the fucking two thousands. Well, it is two thousand, but you know, motherfucking when Soldier Boy was popping. And this is only um, Vaseline, cause I couldn't find my Carmex. And I'm using it on this because it helped, it'll help me like rub it in. Because I had like a little brush, it was like a little round brush, like a little small brush, just thick enough to where I can like rub this, like rub my lip liner in. But I don't know where, like I don't know where it went. Like it's not in my makeup box anymore and it's probably in my fucking suitcase. Look, my lips so goddamn crusty, it just started bleeding. And I ain't even do shit. I need some more Vaseline, but y'all get what I'm saying. If y'all have like really pink lips like me, and don't want the pink lips, but y'all don't want that grinny ass color, this is the way to go.
And now you got seductive ass lips because that's what we need, right? That's what we're going for, right? Now it's time to get your wig together. Whatever maintenance your wig need, this is the time to do that. To get that wig together, sis. Now you a bad bitch and you feel yourself. Now you a bad bitch. And you feeling yourself. So now you finna go in that club. You finna make a bag. And you finna go home satisfied. Because you took an hour and 30 minutes before you went to the strip club to do your makeup. Get your wig together. And put on a bomb ass outfit just so you could go in there feeling yourself. Just to get even prettier. And feel yourself even more. So now you finna make a bad because you got the confidence built up. To know that you the baddest bitch in that club. If you ain't the baddest, you the baddest. If you don't feel like you the baddest, take a look in that mirror. You know, like, damn, why damn, I make up good today. Damn, look at my hair. Titties look a little big. Whatever. You the baddest bitch up in that club. You finna make a bag. You finna be happy going home. And... That's all that matters. The strip club is so much competition, y'all. Y'all gotta get used to being told no. Y'all gotta get used to getting fucking denied. Like, people, you could be the baddest bitch in the club and somebody like, no, I'm okay. You just not that type. Maybe they don't like caramel skin bitches. Maybe they like only dark skin bitches. Or maybe they only like dark, they don't like dark skin bitches. Maybe they only like caramel skin bitches. Like, you never know. You could be the prettiest bitch in the club and you still gonna get denied. Like, you still gonna get denied. So as long as you have that confidence, confidence in yourself to keep pushing forward, sis, you gonna make a bad regardless. Period. So make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share too. I forgot y'all could share. So make sure y'all share this onto y'all Facebook page, Instagram, Twitter, whatever y'all got. And help me get to a thousand subscribers so we can hurry up and get monetized. Like, I'm so ready for that. Like, I'm ready to do this photo shoot. I'm ready to, like, I'm so ready. Like, we got to get monetized, like, this year. Like, what then? before the summertime, we got to be monetized. So, stay tuned.